Welcome to The Haunts of Council Part 2 The Dragon's Claw A Thief to Matt Famishin by Sterlino Let's begin The man who follows the crown will usually get no further than the crown The man who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever been Keeper Annals Mario Lombardi is the mayor of a fortified village named Castlebrick, placed up here in the middle of the mountains. Many rich nobles are gathering in Lombardi's big villa for a party, and I've spotted at least two dozen guards that surely will be there to watch over things. I've heard rumors about an impregnable bank protected by some kind of strange mechanical contraptions. Inside is a security code that will enable me to get inside the villa's control room and deactivate the alarm system. Lombardi's also renowned as a collector of rare paintings. Looks like it's a good time to start my own collection. While on my way here, I've also learned that Lord Canfass is Lombardi's father and that he's recently disappeared. It's said that Canfass built Castle Brick long ago and that he arrived with lots of money. While I try not to trust in rumors, my instincts are telling me there's lots of money to be found here. So it's time to find it. Get going, Garrett. Get going. Okay. Optional but important. Find a way to enter the bank. Use the corrosive acid on the door near the vault. Wait for the signal and steal the code number. Um, find a way to enter Mario Lombardi's villa area. Bonus, a master thief doesn't need to kill in innocents. An optional, don't set off any alarms. Go up to expert. It's important to keep the guards from becoming suspicious, so at least when you aren't in the villa area, don't knock anybody. Don't knock anybody out, I assume that means. Uh, so don't KO anybody outside the villa. Don't set off any alarms, yeah. A thief with those skills doesn't need to kill humans. Ah, uh, right, so kill innocents. Don't kill innocents. Don't kill anybody. Hmm. We're using the previous one without knocking anybody out, right? Should be able to do this one as well, right? Let's try it. Um... So we should be starting it off in the inn, in the room at the inn that we just uh, reached in a long way up. Yep. Now we've got our uh, tools. We have a blackjack this time, even though we didn't have one. Oh, hello. I see a switch by the bed. Mission instructions. Garrett, welcome. This is the start of the real mission. If all went well, you should now be in room number four of the Third Alps Inn. I hope you haven't had too many problems reaching in. <clears throat> yeah, about that. Um, hmm. Well, we'll just... The less said, the better. Uh, in any case, take your time and study the plan in detail. Be sure not to make any errors. Mm, yes, I'll try. The consequences of your failure are well known. Do exactly what we write here and your success is assured. The rest is only a question of time. To reach the inn, you walk past the entrance to a village. That is your aim for the mission. Castlebrick is a little hamlet of Kansas City. It rests on a projection above a ravine and it boasts just 1,800 just 800 inhabitants. At the north side of that village lies Mario Lombardi's villa. Protected by a very great brick wall, it is a secure house for the mayor and his noble friends. The first thing you should do is just sneak around the village and locate the bank. Many years ago, Lord Canfus came here and founded a company of followers that built the village. After many years, rumours spread throughout the country about the little but useful bank up in the mountains. The bank of Castle Brick is very small, but renowned and very well constructed. You absolutely must find a way to enter that bank. Inside, there is a secure room at the left of the main vault's entrance. There is kept a code label on which is printed the secret number to later gain access to the control room in Lombardi's villa. Once inside that control room, you'll be able to turn off all the alarms and the traps to protect the dragon's claw. I see. That sounds very helpful. It seems an impossible mission, I know, but luckily we have a spy inside the bank that works for us. He told us that he can do one thing. Turn off the power to one of the alarms in the bank. 
We have agreed that at the second bell tolling, the alarms on that secondary room beside the vault's big door will be turned off for exactly 1 minute and 30 seconds. To open the door, you cannot use your thief skills. It is reinforced and impervious to any kind of lockpicking. So we devised another way to open it. A special corrosive acid. We can tell you that a flask with some charges of that corrosive acid is owned by a person in the village. Find that person and you will find the acid. Okay, that's good. Who? Just a person. Okay, right. Once you have it, go to the bank and simply throw it on the door and let the acid do its job. The door will open by itself once the corrosive liquid has done its work. So, what you must do once inside the bank is simple. Find a way to enter the vault area, go to the door beside the big vault's entrance and throw the acid on it. Once the door is opened, wait there for the signal, two tolls of the bell. Then the alarms will be turned off for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Find the code label and escape. Well, it's not much time, but hopefully we can do that. The second objective is to find a way to reach the villa's area. It's not as simple as it seems. We recommend you use all your abilities to make it in the most quiet way. In the village there is also a special shop, it's open day and night. Inside that shop works a man that has some affairs with us, so he is a trustworthy person. Simply enter it and ask him for some supplies, he will be happy to help you. You must gather some supplies for the rest of the mission, because once inside the villa area you cannot turn back and go again to that shop. Once you are inside the villa area you must find a silent way to enter the mansion. The Lombardi's guards are very angry with people like you, so watch out, try to hide to the best of your ability. We haven't seen Lord Canfus recently, so if you can get some information about him, we will be grateful. But that is not as important as the rest. Obviously, the most important thing to do inside the villa is to steal the dragon's claw. Rumours tell us that Lord Canfus ordered Mario Lombardi to guard the precious jewel for him, and he has sealed it into a glass case protected by some traps. Luckily, we actually know most of those traps. In the room that you first must locate, there are... Deadly rays to avoid, security cameras, a locked glass case, a guard always stationed there, a noisy marble floor, and two main deadly traps we don't know exactly what they are. All the alarms and cameras are linked to a main control room situated in the basement of the villa. To gain access to that room you must find three different card keys, or use the code label that you stole from the bank. So what you must do in the villa is far from simple. Locate the alarm control room, find the three card keys, or use the code label to enter, turn off all the alarms and cameras, Locate the Dragon's Claw room, disarm the two deadly traps, be careful with the guard, and finally, steal the claw. The card keys. We don't know much about them. What we do know is that one of those cards is owned by Lombardi himself. But we don't know exactly where he keeps it. Try to sneak around and locate a study. At the time we write this letter, the only advice we can give you is to look in the documents in Lombardi's room. There may possibly be useful information about the location of that card key. Be sure not to make mistakes. <coughs> yes, I will. Study as best you can the maps we enclose with this document. Always remember the price of your failure. Basso is still in our hands. Yours in hope. Greed Vincent. Greed, huh? Study well the maps. Okay. So we're here. Let's cast the brick. It's a very nice, very nice drawing of the villa. So that's the Mario Lombardi's villa. It shops in the... I don't know which way is north. Does this have a north indication? No. Well, I guess we'll find out. Sewer entrance is where we're going to come into the town, I guess. Shop and bank are opposite sides. It doesn't look too big. It doesn't look like it'd be too hard to find. Okay, we've got maps of the bank. Camera alert. Beware. Okay, first floor. Is this also first floor? Why did you say first floor twice? I'm a little confused by that. Um, offices. So that's like stairs, and that's like stairs there. Anyway. Uh, to the sewers, question mark. Pipe wall, old passage now closed. Main vault, secondary vault. So the main vault we're not getting into, but the secondary vault we are? Okay. Shopkeeper. His shop which is open all night is in the northeast part of the village. Alright, so north was... We come back here, that's north. Northeast, okay. Uh, he's a confederate of the Brotherhood of Fire. Friendly. The monk. The death of his son some years ago drove him insane, but behind his madness there still lurks a wise man. If you need some advice, you'll find him at the little church in the village. Friendly. Lady Colette. She's the wife of Lombardi, and his jealousy is renowned. Neutral. Huh. 
Dr. Feller. He came to this region many years ago, but after living here for a few months, he disappeared for no apparent reason. There are rumors that he discovered a powerful medicine which has miraculous properties. And notes. Okay. We don't have maps of the villa, which is interesting. Sewer entrance key, all right. What does this lever do? Interesting. Hello, rat. Blair, slurful potion, and some cheese. Sorry, rat, I need the cheese more than you do. Yeah. I know. Okay. Let's head out. So we've got to find the... After some sneaking minutes. We find ourselves in the sewer. Okay, that's convenient. We don't have to sneak go out of the uh, inn. Oh, we can use the door again. Too scared to dare? Then... Back to the inn. I just needed a short nap, right? There we go. Short nap. Right. Okay. So these we're heading west. We need to get to the northeast and the south. So we need to find the person who has the asset. It's important, but we need to do that before we worry about the bank. Um we have 300 gold at the moment we can spend at the shop. If we can steal some more, that would be good. I gather... Well, hmm. And we could climb the rope there. Interesting. Uh, I know this. I right. I recognize this well. This is the well that uh, we uh, went to many times in the previous mission. Oh! All right, I'm going to reload that. I tried to jump and it didn't jump. It just made me drop. Let's go back out. I will accept my failures. I won't accept random control failures that half kill me right at the very beginning of the mission. Maybe later. Maybe later we can take those. Oh, of course, we got the sewer key. Why am I trying to pick the lock? Castle brick gas conduct. Warning, don't hit the pipes. Oh, come on. Why not? See? Don't remove all these warnings. What that powers? There's already some gas leaking. Yeah, don't remove. It's been removed. Hmm, I feel like that's going to spark and explode if we turn on the power. So let's try it, shall we? No? Hmm... Turn the power off. Can we cut the cables? <gasps> yes, we can. Hello, what's this? I don't know what that is. Lights up, but I don't see people do anything with it. Okay. Now let's try again. We should get some nice sparks. Well, actually, we're less likely to get sparks if the cables are fully cut, right? But, you know, this is a video game. No? Oh, there's, there's sparks, alright. I see. Power off. 
I see, we've got to probably hit the weak part of the, uh, of the pipes here, where it's already leaking. Make a proper leak. That's good. That's lots of leaks. What did that do for us? Let's probably turn the power off again just in case. We don't want more explosions. We've still got some venting gas, so uh, let's not walk into that. Ah. Subtle, Garrett. Subtle entrance. You know, bricked up door. A bunch of rubble. Hello? Is that also a door? <laughs> a lot of crates. A nice crate storage, okay. But that doesn't light up anymore. Maybe we need to power on for that. Hmm. Does that do anything? Because I notice the wire runs. But it, it, like, there's a wire running to here, but it doesn't seem to connect to anything, so... I mean, it does feel like we probably should have found a way in that didn't involve blowing things up, but you know. Um. Hmm. I wonder if anything's buried underneath the rubble. Oh, yes. Weird, it doesn't seem to be connected to anything anymore, but it still functions. How oh, strange, okay. Oh, how does this open? Oh, that one's a little more obvious. Heard a car. <laughs> Second to go. Well, hello, I recognize this place. Oh, he's worried about the explosion, I guess. Nothing here, man. You're worrying about nothing. Are you just gonna stand there? Door key? Alright. Not that door. Not that door. And this door doesn't open, so it must be the door he just went in. What's that? Hmm, so he comes and goes pretty quickly. I don't actually have any arrows whatsoever, so uh, I can't put these torches out. Can't see what he's doing. I think he might see me here. Well, I can't pick it anyway. stay out there very long. Well. So I'll just 
give him a moment again. Hurry up, man, hurry up. I don't have all day, or night, or whatever time of day it is. Well, it means I get to sip my coffee a bit. Bet you wish you had a cup of coffee. A nice mug of coffee, Mr. Guard. But you're on duty. I'm on looty. That doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Big spider in a web. Okay. Had some loot though. That's valuable. Hope the guard didn't hear any anything suspicious with that claim. Doesn't sound like it. Hmm. Wow, suddenly really bright. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to come in again. Oh, the store closes itself, that's convenient for me. I'm gonna wait for him to come in again and then run behind him, I think. What's that? Ah. So that's the village, that's the big gate, right? Oh, did I just close it? No. I don't know which gate that is. Alright, does he come in here? Does that open this door for me? No. And I really can't pick this one. Odd. So where, where do I go? There's nowhere to go from the spider room. And this is another way to go in the sewer, but... I guess we did just open a uh, lever. Maybe I should check in the sewer again. Well, that was close. I almost uh, fell all the way down. But that door isn't going to open for us. Now, there weren't any kind of closed gates here, were there? I mean, that just goes back out to the inn. And there's nothing up this side. Well, um, Mr. Greed, it would be nice if your instructions had uh, covered for uh, little things like how the hell do I get to the village? Why is he just coming in again now? Yeah. <clears throat> so 
love to knock him out, but we have to not knock anybody out before we get to the villa. At least, ideally, right? That's that's the bonus. Don't kill anyone. Oh, we failed. Don't kill anyone because we killed the spider. Well, fine. If you count the spider as a person, then that's too bad. Imagining things now. <laughs> There's no anything there, is there? Anything in and around this chest? No. Okay, let's get back. Here. Nothing down the side. Huh. I'm definitely confused. Because that seems to be a dead end going out there. The lever didn't change anything that I could see. I could hear it doing something. Oh well. Actually, I need to wait for him to. I need to. I want to go back out there and follow him. Uh, follow the. Yeah, uh, check out the lever room again. What's that? I don't see anything out that way. Sounds like it's above me. It's not changing that gate, it's not doing anything in that gateway. Odd. And there is nothing else in this room? Oh, well, it's a guard now. supposed to be doing here. I'm gonna try breaking down that door that doesn't light up just as a kind of last resort I think. Should have moved up the stairs already. Problem is he might hear this. I didn't hear it, that's good. <clears throat> don't think it's gonna work, right? It doesn't feel like it's uh, what we should do. that time because I didn't close the door. I didn't wait for him to close the door before hitting it, which was foolish. He doesn't know where the sound came from though, thankfully. Also doesn't seem like it's going to do anything, so... Uh... be ridiculous to uh this isn't gonna do anything the door is not gonna break okay so what the f what the hell do i do seems ridiculous to look up a walk through this soon now uh i do remember people talking about this mission saying like right near the start you have to look for some tiny thing in the room but i don't know if that was here or if that was in the sewer or what so i guess i'm gonna look around some more once our fine friend moves on.
I did try the key here, right? Yes, for sure. make noise down here, right? Is there anything up on there? No. Hmm. For the love of God, not for all. I mean, I've got a pile of crates, but they're not going to be much good to me, right? Can't use that lever again. I'm really confused about what I'm missing. Okay, I could get a crate here and look on top of that. But whatever good that might do. In case there's anything on this ledge. Doesn't look like it. Just to check. Nothing else in this room. Keep bashing my head on the pipe. There wasn't anything in the sewers, right? There wasn't a side door or anything, no. Well, I mean, there's this, but we're not going to be able to get out of there, surely. You know what? I should. Ah, uh, whatever. I've got a quick save. So we haven't achieved anything. Thinking maybe I'm going to fall off the rope again. Can I see that if we did anything with the... Uh... No, the lever that we pulled doesn't seem to have done anything visible out here. We're not going to be able to bash these, these boards. They're not bashable boards. Whoops. Yeah, that's what the quick load's for. To go and nap around here? Yeah, I mean, no, you can't nap because I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually have to look this up. So I'll be right back. Well, you know what they say. Players never look up because in the darkness, the uh, roof texture looks just basically solid. There, there is, there is a. Here's a the thing there. I'm gonna need a crate, I think. <coughs> Alright, I'll take that one. <coughs> I was in a rush, didn't wait to grab the ladder. Players don't look up, but also players don't notice things that are very dark and undifferentiated by texture. Not again. Okay. Let's switch there. A secret, okay, is that the way to go forward? surprised at the way you need to go it counts as a secret but might get stooped today with real oh, there's a ladder on the side as well hope they save some. so if I missed the okay I could have taken the ladder I suppose with a few more crates so the switch is the secret road but the ladder is it's weird the switch is a lot more visible than the, than the ladder but okay <laughs> What is this place? <gasps> Why is 
this, is this really a noisy floor? Entry number 1045. Delgario did it again. He was drunk on duty. This time I'll send a note to the mayor. 1046. Fixing some pipes in the gas zone. We must use the anti-gas masks to enter that area. There's an alarm light that signals the presence of gas. To enter that room, we must cut the wire near the door. It is linked to the alarm. Entry 1047. Delgario, you know what your duty is. Go to the sewer and fix that damp lift. If you don't, this time I will tell Lombardi about your behaviour. It's simple. Use the little lever here, open the passage, and go down. For God's sake. 1048. We are going to explore that place. The location is ten feet under the bank. Some of the guards report about weird monstrous rats down there. We must be careful. We need to buy some weapons at the shop before we go. 1049. Delverio's birthday. Lombardi sent him on a special duty in the garbage chamber. Don't know what kind of duty it would be. To get there, he needs to lift his key that is in the showcase inside the guard post just outside this building. You must ask permission from Alfred the guard to have it. 150. I requested some new employees to help us, but Lombardi wanted me to listen. But we need them. The job is huge and we are too few. Lombardi wouldn't listen is what I'm guessing. Okay. So a couple of things there that might be clues. Anti-gas masks. Light signal presence of gas. Cut the wire near the door that's linked to the alarm. So I mean cutting the wire sets off the alarm or doesn't or stops the alarm being set off. Hmm. Uh in the lift. Leave it here, passage and go down. I think that's where we just came in. I don't know. Rats under the bank, I mean I guess we don't care about that. Uh Special TV in the garbage chamber, right, garbage chamber, the lift key in the case inside the guard post. Alright, well, building's internal door. Building's door, building's internal door, what does this do? No idea. You can hear something moving down below, it says. I can hear a guard moving down below. Bell, okay. Oh, so he's coming out. You know, he's going in and out of the building. I don't know if this noisy floor is is going to get me in trouble or not. Where's that cheese? Ah, no luck. Unlucky cheese. I'm waiting for the guard to come in so we get maximum time to get out. So I don't want to start heading out and have him walk into me. So just a little bit of patience, I guess. Okay, so he's downstairs. So there must be a lever here that closes this door. This guy mentioned it, but I can't see it. I don't suppose it matters. Better for me to have it open as an escape route, right? <clears throat> oh, he's not carrying his sword in his hand. Move there. <clears throat> Where do I go? Is he going to see me if he walks into me? Probably, right? Uh, this doesn't seem good. Maybe I needed to blow him in there. Maybe he won't see me. It seems pretty dark. I could get lucky.
Okay, these, are, these floors sound very noisy, but uh, they don't seem to be uh, suspiciously so. What have we got here? Under those woods, there is an evil presence. I know it. I feel it. So be warned, all of you guards, stay away from there. Don't risk your back going to that place where no man should leave the path. Day one. Watching these mountains from here makes me feel a little nervous. Like observing the guards all day. Well, within three hours my turn will finish, so I think it'll be better for me to take a cup of tea now and a cup of coffee when I'm free to go home safely. Okay. Cut the banner down. I'm curious about where this guard is going to come. I could hear something moving down below. I didn't see any sign of an opened gate or anything. I guess I could get down into the woods. Oh, there's a, a trap door that opened. Right, he's just standing by it right now. Pays to cut down banners. Always. Well, we've got a diamond and another slow full potion. Okay. Uh, what's that? There's a piggy bank looking at something. Alright, there must be a way to climb up there. There's a sewer pipe I see. Interesting. Don't think I can climb up that. Can I? No. Something evil in the woods, huh? but we're gonna have to get down there. Let me just look at this again a little more because it might be. I see a ledge there, but how would you get up to this ledge? There's a couple of chests. A little hard to see. That's outside the window. Oh, we've seen those windows. There's a door there. Oh, is that the bricked up door? That's surely not the bricked up door. Maybe that's the bricked up door. Same style as the bricked up door. Hmm. It doesn't look like you could get up there from down below. You'd have to, unless you get up to this cliff top. Nah, it doesn't look. It doesn't look like a doable jump. What's he reacting to? I don't know. I could rope up there, I think. I could probably stick a rope in there if I had a rope out. I wonder if that's something you have to come back for. Did the lever open this? Can't climb on the door to get up there. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> can't pull the lever back, so I can't. I can't even use the lever, turn the lever on and off to figure out what the lever is doing. Get out here. <laughs> Not safely. <clears throat> Let's try that again. <sighs> oh. Not like that. 
don't feel like this is where I'm supposed to go, but it kind of feels maybe possible. too much. If you had a rope arrow, you could use a rope, but uh and get over there, so maybe that's what needs to happen. How do I leave the damn guard post? It doesn't seem to go anywhere. The zap door there is maybe No, that's the wrong direction, right? That's north. We weren't looking at something north, were we? Not jump down there while he's standing there watching. Oh, Garrett, grab the damn rope. loud noise there all of a sudden. Oh, that's what I've been down below. That's new. Okay, so that lever opens this. Uh, alright. Nice metal thing to land on. Does this come to that sewer pipe outlet? Sewer outlet pipe I saw. Another crate. We could stack a few crates here. I see. This is where. Ah, right. Right. This is exactly right. So let's let's collect up a few crates. If we bring three or four crates down here, we should be able to climb up there. And the crates are all nearby, right? <laughs> Crates are down here. Not sure what he was reacting to there. You have a total of what, four crates? seen that thing I don't obviously don't want to leave it now oh, this guy's upset cause, probably because of, of the noise I made earlier so trying to smash the door open Nothing here. I don't know what you're searching for over and over and over again. There's never anything here. There's never anything exciting. He doesn't stay out for very long, so we don't have much time to get in and out. Not much, but sufficient. Right, we 
can grab the other two, I think, as he's, uh, because he's searching. What's that? Or maybe he's seeing the rope there. That would make sense. I'm finding it kind of strange. Okay. See what we can get for our crates. I right, avoid too many loud metal footsteps. Feels like we're going to need three up on the ledge to get up to the upper level. Maybe even four, it's unclear to me. However, what we can do is save. Okay. Can that. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, you did it before. There we go. Two, is two enough here? Now we're going to need another one, aren't we? I can't take one of these up with me, because I can't get up here without those. I can get to that pipe, though, so let's just try that. Let's see where this goes. Very dark. Let's light it down. Hmm. None of these open, do they? Doesn't feel like that's getting me where I'm trying to get to right now. It's maybe getting me somewhere else. Are you stuck again? Uh -oh. Kind of stuck. Stuck on bad geometry. Do we have another crate? Oh, okay, we don't need to stack them down here. We can maybe get them up there. It's taking the long way around. Yeah, 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 okay. Then we can get three or four up here, no problem. Enough, that might be enough. <gasps> nah, that's not enough. That's 
solves the problem of the dilemma of needing multiple stacks. We only need the one stack. <gasps> and one more so we can put the others on top. Careful not to go out into the evil woods and stray off the path, because who knows what will happen to us out there. <gasps> on top of the pile. There we go. Ah, thief in its crates. Always, always a good time. Let's put this a little closer so that maybe I can uh, stand on this and, and the butt right up, up to this one, which should let me mantle it. No, I'm not on this one anymore. Let's put it closer. Good, good game physics. Really? There we go. Last, okay. Hey pig. That was valuable. We were at like what three seventy five and it put up six hundred another slow pull potion. And a grapple arrow. I guess that's like a rope arrow, but how does it work? I don't know. Sounds very noisy. With me, guys. That is very noisy. I'll find you. Just you wait. Well, it sticks into things that aren't wood. That's very, uh, very cool. Very handy. Was very liable to break the mission, I suppose. I'll find it. We can get to the bell. But we don't need to. I don't know where we could go. We could go almost anywhere. Interesting. We'll get up to the bell tower with that grapple arrow. I don't know what I'm trying to get to. That's the problem now. I'm just. <laughs> I guess we should see where that sewer passage goes. We can get up here easily, right? How do I get back down safely? I might not be able to get back down safely. That might be the problem. I mean, I've got, what, three, five slow full potions. I can use one of those. ladder here, I think. Yes. Uh, 
Can I pick this lock? <sighs> Warning, lift broken, it goes only down. Okay. Whoops, I uh, accidentally pressed a key that I didn't realize was bound to uh, change gamma. I don't want that. That's a shortcut. Oh wait, did I throw both my keys? Oh no, he's going to need the key from the guard, the, uh, you know, from the case outside. Yeah, we made a note of that even. What's all this? Anti-pressure chamber, automatic pressure door. I need a gear key for that. Okay. So that lift only goes down, but that's alright. We don't need it to go up, I suppose. So if I didn't have that grapple arrow, I have no idea what I would do at this point. Seeing as I do have the grapple arrow... Do I just use it to go places I shouldn't go? I mean, how do I get out? You know, we have like an exterior key, right? That door doesn't want to open, right? It doesn't even highlight. I'm a little concerned if we follow that guard now that after the racket we made, he might be uh, on alert. Use the little lever here, open the passage and go down. There should be a lever here to open. I mean, that's not this passage, is it? Maybe that's... That's probably what he means. The little lever here, this... This one. This big... This little lever. You know, it's so tiny, I'm sure you overlooked it. That's our guard friend. We're going to follow him again. <clears throat> Otherwise, I guess I could use the grapple to get to the clock tower and but I'd waste the grapple that way, I think. I guess I can do this. <gasps> that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, let's see if he sees us. God, that's noisy. He shouldn't see me. these two keys and haven't had to use either of them yet. So there's nothing out here except just to see the way forward. Unless... God, that's so fucking noisy in my headphones. Right, that's not getting us anywhere. Still feels like there's a single path forward which is not communicated to me. So it has that in common with the uh, previous mission. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, see what happens next episode.